Let us go to Sal, Cooperstown, New York. We know what's there, don't we? Uh, on the great WGY, go. Thank you. I, I just can't believe some of these Cruz supporters. You know, from the beginning... I want to just I stop was, a second. How do you know he's a Cruz supporter? He didn't say he was. Because he just said he was going to write in Cruz. That doesn't mean he was a Cruz supporter. For all I know, he's a libertarian. Okay. From the beginning, I was only a Cruz or Trump supporter. And after five Trump rallies and three Cruz rallies... For me, it became clear that I was more in line with Trump's thinking and his but ideas. But it's not clear with a lot of other people. But that's unfortunate. People can't think. Obviously, millions. You know of what? You know what, pal? Let me let me tell you something. I've treated Trump supporters with absolute respect who call this program. I challenge them. You call this show and you say people can't think. What are you talking about? You, uh, let me explain. Let me, if I could explain, Mark, I'd love to, because I'm trying to get in the ear of some of these folks. All right, stop talking about you. Explain. If, if you're for a strong border, are you saying that Trump's not? If, if you're for conservative judges, are you saying Trump is not? If you're for better trade deals, are you saying Trump is not? Well, How let's is stop right there. I'm not for protectionism, and I'm not for these massive tariffs. I'm not for that at all. I'm for liberty. I'm for economic growth. I'm for opportunity. I'm for job growth. We haven't even tried it. We have Obama for the last seven and a half years. Bush didn't try it either. Reagan tried it. What did it do, Sal? I could explain on the Reagan front, but if you listen, I remember... You know, I'd love to give you 45 minutes, but nobody cares. They don't want to hear you for 45 minutes. Get to your point. Okay, during the Reagan era... You come on this show and you attack millions of people. I remember These cruise people don't think. This isn't your dinner table. If you come on a show like this, you got to make a point. Go ahead and make it. Business. Reagan wasn't perfect. No, he wasn't perfect. Did I say he was perfect? No, but you keep referring to Reagan like. Well, why do I keep? Well, you keep referring to Trump. Trump hasn't done a GD thing for the country yet, has he? Why can't you just give it a chance? Why give have... what a chance? I'm sorry. You're amazing. You were never a Cruz guy. You're full of crap. And I'm going to tell you why. Why do I keep bringing up Reagan? I compare Reagan to Hoover, and I compare Trump to Hoover and Reagan. That's what I did. Why do you keep bringing up Reagan? You sound like some talk show host out there who's so completely in the tank for Trump. No, I'm let me not. Explain, I... let, me, let me educate you. You want to create jobs, you have to create jobs. And the way you create jobs is through growth. And the way you get growth is through economic activity. This crap with the, with, the, uh, with the tariffs and the protectionism and all. No, we're not going to give that a chance if I have, a, have an argument in this. Because it will be destructive and it's too late then. It's just too late. Hey, let me ask you something, Sal. So you turned me off when, with your first sentence. Why don't you people think? Because the usual stuff for the last 20 years has There hasn't been, the been the usual stuff the last 20 years. Conservatives haven't been in office controlling the presidency for 20 years. The establishment isn't conservative. Why don't you think? Do you even know what the meaning of conservative is? No, what is it, Sal? Resistance to change. That's no, the... that's not the meaning of conservatism, Sal. Resistance to change. You know what? I'm going to send you a book. Do you read? You want to read? Constitution change. I get no, it. No, no, no. That has nothing to do with the Constitution. You asked about conservatism. Do you know what conservatism is, Sal? I just, I just gave you the definition out of the dictionary. That's not the definition of conservatism. It's not Webster's. The definition of conservatism includes change. You think conservatives like the status quo, Sal? No, but they don't want to change the Constitution, and I get that. No. doesn't. Mean, I support Article 5, Convention of States. Do you know what that's all about? Listen, I know the Bill of Rights. You know what, know Sal? You're giving me a headache. You're giving me a headache. You come on this show. You attack millions and millions of people. You can do that on social media if you want. Have a blast. You're not going to do it here. good friend of mine just sent me an email. looks like Louis Gohmert. He said uh, he sent me the definition of conservatism in Merriam-Webster Dictionary, and he said the fellow used the second definition because it's the most insulting. And, of course, if you want to understand conservatism, you don't go to the dictionary, do you? If you want to understand socialism, you don't go to the dictionary, do you? It doesn't tell you a damn thing. 
you want to know your future, you don't uh, crack open a fortune cookie, do you? No, you got to think a little bit beyond that. If you're serious about it, you certainly do. 